Hello, Collective. I'm here to do an energy check-in. So let's take a look and see what's going on with you guys. Damn gnats. Oh my gosh. I can't stand it. Okay. What deck am I going to use first? Okay, some of you could be doing some reflection, self-reflection. I'm also hearing like being mindful of who's um, like behind you. I was hearing like rear view mirror. I was hearing you see who's behind you. So find your music, move in space with minimum waste and maximum joy, Shade Adu. Okay. And Co, so some of you are learning a lesson. Um, Farrah Fossa is skating on the rings of Saturn. So yeah, I was hearing coasting. So some of you are coasting through this life lesson, uh, through this challenge Do uh, I was hearing like restriction. Some of you could have felt restricted. I was hearing um, on the wild side. So some of you could be living on the wild side or there's somebody who's kind of living on the wild side. I was hearing like somebody's acting like an animal. But that's kind of an insult to animals. Like somebody's acting, let's, let's just say ferocious. I mean, ferocious is a bit extreme, but let's just change it to troll. Okay, somebody's being a troll. Okay, they're like operating from their shadow side. That's like all they know. Troll energy, negative energy, all that bullshit. Okay. All right, so the tide has come. Act now. So this tide can represent your emotions. It could represent an epiphany, some type of understanding um, that you're gaining or you're needing to gain from a situation. Mm. Um, I was hearing melting. And somebody is like maybe melting away um, old energy or melting away something that's no longer serving them or this is encouragement for them to do so or for someone to do so I was hearing pick yourself up by your boot strings somebody could be emotionally I don't know seems like emotionally fragile or they just feel like they're out of sorts they're they feel disconnected um, even Ooh, look at that beautiful sneak. So shedding layers. Yeah, I was just saying that. Thank you, spirit. Mm -hmm. So somebody's definitely shedding layers. Oh, gosh, there's a gnat. It just won't go away. <laughs> shedding layers, shedding old skin. And, you know, when a snake sheds, it's growing. So you're encouraged to grow from your situation or grow and grow um, within the situation that you're in, okay? Um, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like growing within your situation is like gaining some type of knowledge or some wisdom, okay? Like, I was also hearing like, instead of succumbing to your um, challenges your adversities whatever the case may be whatever this obstacle is you're encouraged to grow within it like to move with the changes to overcome the obstacles I was hearing like um, not being so resistant and of course we want to resist you know obstacles and stagnation all that bullshit but for some you're being called to move through it okay not to I was hearing be a victim of your circumstance. And I was hearing if you can help it. Yeah, so there's growth here. I, um, I also was hearing like growth when it comes to emotional intelligence, when it comes to emotions. I was hearing bearing the bigger person. So somebody is needing to be the bigger person in a situation or they are. Here we go, Shadi is here again. Okay, find your music. So some of you are finding what works for you. 
or you're learning what works for you. Some of you, I was here a magician. Some of you have a, some of you have a strong ability to manifest. It's because you know who you are. There's some type of recognition, some type of acknowledgement, or maybe a call for you to see your true potential. I was hearing find what, find what works for you. I was hearing several facets. Like there's not just one way of doing something. There's so many different ways. Uh, this These most multifaceted energy could be you. Maybe you are multifaceted and maybe you're needing to see that. When it comes to gifts, talents, when it comes to ways of thinking, you name it. All right. Mm. I was hearing like a strong belief system as well. Some of you could be um, maybe establishing a belief system. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. But this is what it feels like. Yeah, you are fierce. Some of you could have a wolf spirit. Or, yeah. Maybe you are this lone wolf. I was hearing, I don't need a pack. I don't like, this is a strong energy of just um, like moving in silence, being solo dolo. Okay. Survival mode. Somebody could be in survival mode as well. Somebody could sense a predator. Hmm. Awaken the sleeping wolf. Take back your power. So you could be taking back your power. You could be taking back your power when it comes to your emotions. Uh, maybe um, how you process your emotions, your emotions, how you go about it. Okay. Yeah, there could be someone who could have made you melt in some type of way and not made you melt like as far as a week in the knees. Okay, it could be for some of you. Maybe you could have been easily seduced by somebody, but that's not the case anymore. Okay, some of you, it could be that you um, were affected by others or situation like you would literally just melt. Okay, and you're being called to take back your power, to be fierce, not fierce as far as violent and being you know, unruly, but, you know, standing up for what you believe in, being assertive, you know, um, this is a strong, untamed nature. It makes a lot of sense because in the beginning of the reading, um, I pulled the, I can't remember, Coast. It was the Coast card with Sarah, uh, Farrah Fawcett. Um, skateboarding on the rings of Saturn and I said somebody's being ferocious or acting like an animal okay maybe this could be you like you're un untamed like you're I was hearing the she-wolf by Shakira there's a she-wolf in your closet coming out so let her breathe Ooh. okay so maybe you're like a she-wolf you're, you're coming out you're, you're needing to I don't know be confident be wild in nature, you know. Go after what you want. Go after what you desire. You know, also standing up for yourself. I was hearing, I'm hungry like the wolf. Okay, so somebody, I don't know, somebody feels like there's somebody that's hungry like a wolf. Like, I don't know, like, it feels like there is someone that's hungry after somebody. They're, they're craving someone. I see that too. What is going on? And I'm hungry like the wolf. Yeah, trying times. Yeah, trying times. Makes a lot of sense with the Coast Card and seeing Saturn. Saturn's the planet of restriction, pessimism, structure. So there's something. Like somebody's being tried here. Well, they have been tried. And it's a call for them to be fierce, to be brave. <sighs> I don't know. It looks kind of like a skeleton with a beanie on and a Cuban link necklace. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> the beanie says, whoa. 
I don't know. This is giving like a gangster, okay? Like spiritual gangster. Like be bold, okay? I was hearing I, I squashed my competition. And if it's not competition, it could be people who don't have your best interest, all right? So it's trying times. A smooth life is not a victorious life, okay? So you have to go through the trials and tribulations in order to gain wisdom, um, in order to gain um, strength as well, all right? This is the energy of like, life is not a bed of roses, okay? Life is not going to be easy for you, <laughs> for anyone. We're going to go through difficulties. We're going to go through trying times. I love that saying. A smooth life is not a victorious life. And it's by pra pra Pramanasha Yogananda. I guess that's the person who quoted this. A smooth life is not a victorious life. You're victorious when you've overcome challenges, five of wands. When you overcome, you know, a conflict, um, ridicule, five of swords, you know. When you've overcome, you know, tower moments, okay. That's being victorious. And it doesn't have to be happening physically around you. It can be happening within you. It's overcoming those uh, trying times, overcoming, you know, the conflicts, the struggle, the strife. It's growing within your situation as well. This is growth, major growth. Okay. So we got treat yourself. Oh, we got Jupiter sucking on some Jupiter. Mm. What is going on? So treat yourself. So you need you need to enjoy life. Jupiter is the planet of expansion, optimism, and abundance. So this is enjoying life. Okay, some of you are needing to get out, enjoy yourself. I was hearing like not taking life too seriously. Okay, I'm not saying don't, I'm not saying be irresponsible, right? So it says your problem is, your problem is you're too busy holding on to the unworthiness. Oh, wow. Hmm. So some of you may not be recognizing your worthiness. Or you are recognizing your worthiness. This could be a reminder as well. Okay, but overall, this is growth. This is growth. This is victory. This is courage. This is being brave. Um, I was hearing taking back your power as well. I was hearing the initiate. Okay, yeah, I'm going to put that in the title, the initiate. I feel like um, that's you collective. Okay. Some of you are inspired as well. I was also hearing uh, with the treat yourself card, um, some of you could be overly concerned with what's going on outside of yourself, which, I mean, it makes sense. Some of you could be going through some changes, you know, some shifts. Um, but for some of you, it's not as serious. It's just petty shit. It's shit that you shouldn't even be dealing with or entertaining. And so you're encouraged to shift gears and bring the focus back to yourself and towards your personal growth. Okay. All right, what else is going on? Why don't you check in? Mm, let's do this. Just We got the king of 
oh knight of wands sagittarius energy it also could be leo or aries so i was hearing taking charge feeling very motivated moving forward some of you could be traveling or desiring to travel do something new i was also hearing like running through the forest so doing something that um allows you to exert some energy uh or to raise your energy Mm. mouth is so dry <clears throat> so yeah um this could also be somebody that is a focus for you in your life all right somebody could be very flighty as well page of wands a little bit of immaturity here too but i do see this um as just having a new lease on life um like renewed energy feeling motivated again I was also hearing like doing what you want a message could be coming through or there could be a um, fire sign energy presenting themselves or showing up with the message I don't know some somebody could be a little bit feisty I was also hearing irritated what is going on okay ace of cups so somebody's focused on themselves they're not really i don't know it's like a strong energy of doing what they want this is an energy of also being selfish too somebody could be selfish with their energy they're very immature like immature and selfish um and there is someone i was hearing hit the road jack okay somebody doesn't want to deal with this they're like hitting the road they're focus on their own path what is this knight of wands focused on or heading towards <sighs> to start some shit what is going on five of wands okay I called the five of wands earlier so or i was hearing rescue a mediator so somebody there could be an issue i was hearing a settlement some type of conflict or whatever and I don't know i was hearing judgmental okay but this uh this knight of wands could be coming in to um settle this okay because he's coming in with an extra wand which is a six of wands it's vict victory i was hearing um squashing my competition you know earlier in the reading so somebody could be squashing their competition somebody could be meeting this challenge this issue whatever the fuck it is head on Okay, I, don't, I didn't mean to drop the F-bomb. <laughs> it just came out. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're there to settle this. Um, I was hearing stop running away from your problems. Address your problems. So somebody is needed to address their problems or they are addressing or facing their problems. Yeah, somebody was victorious over a conflict or over a challenge. I was hearing a delegation. So somebody was like victorious when it came uh, victorious in this delegation okay or uh, whatever this five of wands is somebody's coming in to settle it <sighs> i was hearing solving your own problems somebody could be solving their own problems okay page of wands i was hearing i can do anything now so somebody's feeling like motivated like they can do anything now and they just focus on themselves i was also hearing somebody is like witnessing um god's love um the spirit's love um this can also be messages through animals through life okay and when i say life it's like nature animals you know all the above Okay. not in human form all right the chariot so moving forward taking back control feeling like things are moving along um cancer energy i see fire signs here water sign could be any sign really but um I was hearing you can't control me. So somebody is trying to control someone or trying to make somebody head into a direction that they want them to head into. I was hearing by force, like what? Okay. Yeah, nine of wands. So the nine of wands. 
I was here and I'm not going down without a fight. Okay. So it could have been forces or energies. Like somebody was being pulled in a, direct, in a direction that they didn't want to be pulled into. Um, and the Nine of Wands is like a, a defensive energy, protective energy, but uh, like tired, exhausted. But what's keeping this soldier or whatever, whoever this guy is, um, what's keeping him standing is his spirit. This is, like a, this is like a fighting spirit. So this, this could be that somebody's moving forward to have a fighting spirit. Or they're like, you're, I'm not going down without a fight. I was, I was hearing defend it. I'll defend it till the end. Okay, what is going on? Tell me more, Nine of Wands. What is going on? I was hearing infiltrating. Okay, so there's an energy of some of infiltration. I was also hearing like the people are fighting amongst themselves. And this this, this Knight of Wands is intervention. It's a soldier. And it makes a lot of sense because of what's going on in the world now. And, you know, with the WAR and all that, just the stuff that's going on, it makes a lot of sense here. But let's keep it light. Okay. Hoping for peace. For everyone tell me more knight of wands okay king of cups so somebody could be emotionally drained or just on the defense emotionally okay they're not letting their emotions drive them or they're encouraged not to let, allow their emotions not to drive them um somebody's just tired emotionally they're tired of dealing with people they don't want to deal with people anymore okay they're over it. They kind of focus on themselves. Like I was hearing, I'm trying to put on a happy face. So it could be a water sign person who's just drained, who's tired. It could be a cancer energy here, possibly. But it could be any sign. But they're just tired. I'm kind of over it. Um, I was hearing I want to do what I love. And then I heard I'm not doing what I love. What else is going on? All right, we got the Five of Cups. Yeah, what is going on? Yeah, somebody is not happy. I was hearing at odds. Somebody's not happy with their situation. I was hearing, it's, I need somebody to take the will. So somebody could be desiring for someone to take the will or take control over something take control over their life, their direction. Like somebody could feel lost. I was hearing at their wits end. It could be because of a situation. Somebody could be upset about a, a vehicle as well. All right, this five of cups, five of wands, this could be internal conflict. There is an energy of somebody, to, somebody needing to take action to solve their own problems, to be like, Take, it's like taking the initiative, right? So when you take the initiative, the help comes along, okay? Because I see it here. The help comes along through spirit. God's going to be helping someone for sure because they took the initiative towards settling this five of wands energy, this five of cups energy. They were beat down. They were tired, but they kept moving forward. There was times where they didn't want to smile. They didn't want to, you know, be in a good mood, but they still persevered. Okay, this is what I see here. Wow. Um, somebody could be sad too. They're just restless emotionally. They're just sad over a situation. I was hearing, I don't know how to feel. So, so there could be somebody that, who's just kind of stuck emotionally. They could also be in an energy of procrastination or inaction because it's like their emotions are getting to them. Like, I don't know. What else is going on? Seven of Swords. What is going on? Somebody could be leaving. Yeah. Nine of Swords. So Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords. Wow. I don't know why. I kept hearing infiltration. So somebody's coming in. Maybe to steal or to... They have ulterior motives. Okay. Two number sevens here. Yeah. The Chariot and the Seven of Swords. It could have been that a Cancer betrayed someone. 
or it could be a moon and Aquarius individual. The moon is ruled uh, rules cancer, so strong cancer energy. There is is a number seven, so partnerships, relationships. Somebody was doing something they had no business doing. Okay, somebody could be manipulating, trying to take control, trying to drive somebody in a, in a direction. What is going on? That's crazy. Nine of Swords is just being at odds. Not Well, maybe being at odds with someone or being really stressed out. I also was here with the Chariot and the Seven of Swords. Somebody doesn't know how, what to do. Like... The thought of trying to come up with a strategy or tr trying to come up with a plan is just an agonizing. It gives them a lot of anxiety because someone doesn't, just, I don't know. I think somebody's afraid of getting in the driver's seat, like afraid of taking the initiative and creating the change or whatever it is that they're wanting in their life. Like they're stressed out over this. Okay. But yeah, there's an energy of somebody getting manipulated here or lying. Somebody could be trying to cut corners or thinking of ways. I was hearing, uh, I don't know, I was hearing get rich schemes. I don't see any pentacles out here. I was hearing on the come up. So somebody is trying to, to come up off of someone or I don't know. Someone feels lied to. Somebody had a misconception. I was hearing misrepresentation. There was a misconception, misrepresentation that caused someone a lot of stress, anxiety. I was hearing, what did I get myself into? What the hell is going on? Ace of coins. Okay. Get rich schemes here. I don't know. Somebody's trying to come up with a way to maybe make money or to um, secure this opportunity. It could be very stressful. They could be up late at night. I was hearing like working through the night. <sighs> um, I don't know what else. Uh, um, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. It's like a seed. It's an opportunity. I was hearing a blessing. Somebody could have been robbed of something. Something could have been taken from someone and they're being blessed. Somebody could have stole somebody's peace, their happiness, robbed, robbed somebody of their joy. What the hell did this Seven of Swords take? Or what is this? The Knight of Coins? Could have took somebody's... I don't know, somebody's vision or somebody's hope for the future. Like somebody, like, I don't know, it's a strong energy of somebody like robbing someone of their vision or, of, of, or misleading someone. I don't know. It's just, it's a misleading energy here. <sighs> somebody could be needing to come up with a strategy, a plan for the future, long-term plans. They're needing to like sit down and actually... I was hearing like map something out or sit down and come up with a plan, a, a strategy. I was hearing like working alone. And as you're working alone, you're brainstorming, you're thinking. I was hearing get your wheels turning. I was hearing with the nine of swords, like, what are you going to do about it? Okay, but I feel like once you apply yourself, I feel like, you know, you're going to receive a blessing here. Like once you apply yourself, once you take the step, first step forward, yeah, you have to have the right mindset with the King of Swords here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could also be a air sign person who is providing some type of financial aid. Somebody could be getting a loan here. Or looking into a loan. I don't know. I was hearing contracts. I was also hearing legal counsel. I was hearing financing. Okay. What else is going on? Okay. This is long. I didn't want to make it this long. I get so deep into these readings. Knight of Swords. 
Okay, I feel like some of you are slaying your demons or slaying your fears, focusing on the right thing or doing your best to focus on the right thing. We have justice here. Okay. Truth and balance. Order being restored. <sighs> somebody is trying to, I don't know. I was hearing like somebody, somebody was trying to slow someone down. I don't know what is going on. Somebody's aware with the King of Swords. Someone's aware of what's going on. Some, um, I was hearing the King of Swords got a tip. All right, yeah. So focusing on, you know, what matters and overcoming your fears. This is a new beginning here. I feel like some of you are, you know, walking to the beat of your own drum. You're taking risks. You're start, I was also hearing an opportunity to start over. Um, some of you are wanting to start over, but you don't want to deal with anybody. The Four of Cups, like you don't want to deal with anybody. I was hearing no new friends. You're okay with your animals, though. Your pets. <laughs> like you're okay with your familiars, but you don't want to have. You don't want to deal with anybody. All right. What is this Nine of Swords energy connected to? Nine of Swords energy is connected to the Page of Swords. Okay. Something. I don't know. Somebody could be stressing out mentally over something because they're trying to get an answer or um they're wanting an oh yeah they're wanting an answer to come to them i was hearing they're trying to find the reason this is also a spying energy somebody could be up late at night spying on someone it could be through a device through tarot um, I was hearing the meaning. Somebody's trying to find the meaning of their situation or what's going on. I was also hearing like the meaning to life. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, there's, you know, six of cups. So the Lord of friendship, somebody could be, <laughs> I don't know. There could be some stress or concern about a soulmate connection or a connection, uh, a really close connection here. It could be a friendship. I was hearing what you said to me. So somebody could be stressed out over what someone said to them. It could have been a friend, a friend or an associate. Um, there could be an age difference here or there. You guys can be the same age, but somebody's kind of like a, like a baby. They're kind of immature. All right. But there is some type of communication that maybe caused some stress or worried or whatever. Um, this can also be internal dialogue as well. All right. There could be anything going on. Okay anything there's so many people out there what the deal all right that manipulation that um chariot and the seven of swords that one was um <clears throat> interesting okay let's go ahead and close up the reading because i think i think we're done okay closing message for the collective Close the message for the collective. There you go. Drink some tea. Ooh, I love it. Orbs of light. So collective. You're encouraged to focus on your inner light. Allow your inner light to shine through. I was hearing like big, uh, being the bigger person. I was also hearing that some of you are needing to clear out your heart chakra as well as your solar plexus as well. Um, I'm feeling like for some of you, when you feel more confident within yourself, confident and strong, your light shines really bright. Okay, because you know yourself. You know, you're certain of yourself. It's not being egotistical at all. Far from it. Some of you are encouraged to shine your light with maybe with others i was hearing like shining your light and darkness for some of you you could be surrounded by darkness negative energies people you name it but you're encouraged not to dim your light at all or allow these energies to dim your light okay so this is the end of the reading collective god bless